Hi everybody, welcome back from spring break. Um, and unfortunately, as you know, we're going to continue the rest of the semester online. So I want to tell you a little bit about that, and then we'll just get started on the next lab. Now, uh, the main thing to tell you is we're not going to meet online at a particular time. The way it works is I'm going to record these videos in different pieces and give you guidance on how to do the lab. I'm going to collect the data and provide it to you. I'm aiming to get it to you in the, the most raw form that you can get it so that you get the experience of, of collecting the data and analyzing the data. And then you will write a lab report. So um, we won't meet online, but I actually will be available online. On Blackboard, there's something called Blackboard, Co Blackboard Collaborate Ultra, which is a video conferencing system, and you can conduct classes that way. And what I'll do is I'll just uh, be at home online with the camera and we'll treat it like drop-in office hours. If you look at the lab materials ahead of time and have questions about, about doing the lab, I'll just be there and I can answer questions. But, but it's not going to be structured like a class. Instead, the structure is going to come from this set of videos and the handouts that I put on Blackboard. So to start, um, just like I did in the classroom, I made a list of topics for the lab and we can go through as you can see I can write to you here and the very first thing that I have here is read or at least skim the lab handout first so I've put the lab handout and some supplementary um, handouts if I put the lab the lab report checklist is the main thing it's a good list of things that you should check for uh, writing your lab report and so that's on there as well and then I'll also be adding data and more videos and the first thing you should do before you come to class whether it's online or not is get take a look at the, the lab handout to know what the labs all about you don't have to read in great detail because you're gonna read it again right so I put skim here just get a look at it to see what the lab is all about and then when you come back, I'll give you some more information um, about the class and about, about the particular um, uh, physics behind it and how, to, how the data are collected and, and some things about how to write the lab report. But, so to get started, go look at the lab report, or the lab handout. 